Okay, we are ready to continue our tutorial on the easiest way to remove a background from an image. But first, some trivia. All right, I'm going to put up on the screen right now this icon. This is the GIMP icon. So, you know that if you've gone to the website or if you've downloaded and installed the application. But it's not only the icon for GIMP, it's also a mascot. So, how many of you know the name of this mascot? Time's up. All right, so the correct answer is Wilbur. So, for those of you who got that trivia question correct, this tutorial is completely free. The rest of you need to send me $5. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's free for everybody. All right. All right. So I have GIMP up. I have our um, AT&T Lily up on the screen with the background removed from our work on the last episode. I also have up the original um, image that we started with. Just as a comparison, I always like to have the reference image up where I can see it. Okay, so what I want to do before we start touching up this photo, and that's what this that's what this uh, tutorial is all about, is once you get the background removed, we need to go through and touch up our subject a little bit. So what I'm going to do in my um, my layers dialog here, and if you guys don't have your layers dialog up, if you if you hit Control and hold down the control key and hit L that will bring up your layer dialog or you can go up to window and look at dockable dialogs and select layers and you can see the shortcut right there control plus L okay so now you guys should have yours up what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer for background and so this little plus sign down here the icon on the bottom left hand corner click that and I'm going to name this background BG and I am going to make it white. Okay, so let's add that. And then I'm going to use this down arrow over here on the bottom to move that layer down. Okay, so now we've got a, a completely solid white background behind Lily. And one of the other things I want to do before we start working on it is I'm going to right click that layer and I'm going to go into layer, edit layer attributes. Okay, and on that layer, I'm going to tell it to lock alpha, lock position and size, and lock pixels. And I'll show you why I, why I want to do that. Okay, so, we'll, so let's select OK on that and let's go up to our main layer, the one that has ATT Lily in it, right click, select edit layer attributes. And I want to lock the position and the size. I don't want to lock anything else. I do want to lock the alpha, but first I want to show you what happens if you don't lock the alpha channel that we have on there. And last time I was talking about the alpha channel, I should have said it's a, it's a channel. I think I said it's a component, or I started off by saying it was a layer. It's actually a channel. So if we go in, I'm going to select OK here. If we go in and we look at channels, you got layers and then you got channels if, at the top. If you select channels, you'll see you've, you've got your individual color channels, RGB, which is red, green, blue. And since we added an alpha channel, that's also visible there. Okay, so it's actually another you're adding when you add an alpha channel you're you're just adding another channel to the to the actual image okay so let's scroll in here hold down my control key and use my mouse wheel to zoom in and I'm going to hold down my mouse button middle mouse button to 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 pan it over okay you see right here I kind of screwed up on that a little bit so what I want to do, and let me make sure here on my on my attributes, I do not have the alpha channel locked, so I want to show you why you want to do that. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to my heel tool. 
and you can see that it has that little white triangle at the bottom which means there's other options so if you hold down your left button you'll see there's clone there's perspective clone and there's heel what we want to use is we want to use the heel and i like to have the opacity at about 30 percent so i'm going to run that down to about 30 percent 30.1 i've got a softer brush that I've got select and you can tell a soft brush because it's got kind of a fuzzy perimeter on it if you select a hard brush like this one you'll see it's got a very hard edge so I'm going to go back and select my soft brush that's brush number two it says hardness of 0.75 and then you can always adjust your size so what I want to do is I want to fill in this little notch right here a little bit okay so I've, I'm going to hold down my control key and then wherever I left click that's the area that it's going to sample so that I can use the heel tool on this so watch what happens when I do that you see how it's going all the way over into the white background and the reason it's doing that is because I did not lock the alpha channel so what we want to do is we want to lock the alpha channel Let's see here or not yet I'm wrong we don't want to we don't want to lock that yet let's go ahead and do this okay so hold down the control key left click that's my sample area and then what I want to do is I just want to fill in this area over here and you can you can you can um, resample that anytime that you want to by holding down the control key and left clicking so what I want to do is I want to fill this area in here a little bit so that we don't have that notched out area that just looks kind of weird to me you know and let's let's hide our let's hide our white area here so it's not sampling the white area as a matter of fact what will work better let me undo that Okay, so um, when, I, when I'm filling in this dark area right here, what I want to do so it doesn't sample anything underneath, I want to hide uh, the white background. I want to add a black background. So I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm going to use my background color, which is currently black. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to use the arrow to bring that down. And so th now we can better see that area. there okay now I'm gonna switch back to my heel tool and I'm gonna run my I got my opacity at 30 percent so now I'm gonna sample this again and I want to re just remove and um, this is where now that I'm gonna be using the heel tool rather than the clone tool I've got that notch filled in this is where I want to go in and I want to protect that lock alpha so that we don't go go into the transparent area now I just want to clean up the edges with some color so I want to see what that looks like yeah so you see here where I've gone over I'm going to use my um, eraser tool here for a second just to move some of that out I have to unlock my alpha I just want to clean that up. So with the clone tool, the heel tool, and, and I'm going to lock that back again. With the heel tool and the clone tool and the um, eraser tool, you'll be able you'll be able to do all this. All right, make sure I'm on the healing tool. I'm st I want to run that back down to thirty percent. All right, 30.8. Sample again. Okay, so now we're just covering up this these highlights a bit, you know what I mean? And also blending in the area that we cloned. Okay, so let's move up and see what else we need to 
work on you see the edge of her hair here so let's hit that right there and you can resample anytime you want the further I get away the more I want to resample you want to keep it close now I'm going to sample it down here just to take those highlights off a bit okay so let's look at our white background and see what that looks like so far it looks pretty good now I want to fill in this area here a little bit just take a little bit of the lightness out of it so let's bring our black background up again zoom back in pan it over and let's select a, a little bit lighter area here All right, let's see what that looks like. Just keep just keep adjusting and keep checking. Okay, now you see these highlights over in this area and over in this area. All right, we want to do that too. So let's zoom in on that and resample her hair right here. And then remove that reflection. It's really a reflection on her hair. And then up here, and I'm just going to run this out to the edge. And then we'll take a look at it. And it helps if you just keep resampling in the area in which you're working. All right, let's pan it down again. And we want to take this reflection off of this edge again up here. But do you see how well that works? Using the hill tool, it samples the pixels near and it really blends it in well. And by locking our alpha channel, we don't have to worry about going over. All right, so see, it's kept it's kept everything inside our alpha channel. All right, so let's zoom in here and just take some of this reflection off here. And it goes pretty fast. I know it looks like tedious work, but you know, you, you want your end result to look really good. And I think that when we're done with this, it's going to look really good. All right, so this area here. We just want to take the reflection off of it. Isn't this fun? I'm, I'm having a blast. All right. Just keep moving your sample to the area closest you know that you want to blend in with. That looks good. Okay, so right here. This area right here, um, I think that they look, let's look at it, let's look at it um, with the white background real quick and just take a look at that and then take a look at the uh, original image.
it just it's too defined so what I want to do is I want to use my eraser and I want to soften those up a little bit make them not quite so prominent you know what I mean so let's go up to our eraser tool let's set our opacity to about 15 percent and start at the bottom let's start at the bottom and this is where we want to unlock our alpha channel because we're going to be erasing over top of the alpha channel and what we want to do is just make that less prominent and this one as well especially the edges and let me let me undo that I'm gonna bring the opacity down even more Oop, got a little carried away didn't I okay and I want to fix that area sample it Oop. let me lock my alpha channel again and got my opacity set okay and bring my black background up again when you're doing this when you're trying to darken something you don't want to have a solid white background behind it because it actually samples that too okay so now let's look at our white background again and now see what that looks like now that that stray hair right there looks a lot better I think this one we need to lighten it up still a little bit let's look at our yeah see it's not quite it's not as defined so let's go back into our and make sure I don't have the okay unlock the alpha channel again you got to keep doing this whenever you need to go over top of an area where the alpha channel is like when I'm trying to lighten this up you want to unlock the alpha channel but when you're working on the edges you don't want to go into the alpha channel so you want to make sure that it is locked so let's zoom in on this again go back up to our eraser and I'm going to turn the opacity down even further I want to really lighten up the edge not only the color but I want to really lighten up the edge a bit too almost dissolve the edge so that it's not so visible All right, let's see what that looks like. I think that definitely looks better than what we started with. Okay, so from here, let me look at this one more time. From here, if you look at this now with the dark background, I think it looks pretty good. We've removed a lot of that reflective white area along the edges we've got just a little bit of a highlight here which I think is good because this is going to be highlighted back here where it's mostly transparent okay so I think at this point I think our image looks really really good so what I want to do in the next episode is we will choose a different background an actual image background to impose her on top of and then we will compare that with the original image and compare the two and see what it looks like and see how well our composition turns out but I think that looks I think that looks really really good guys I do all right so I will see you in the next episode and we will complete this uh, project with uh, AT&T Lily so remember you can create freely 
and I will see you next time.